Hi everyone. So I've noticed on LinkedIn a few people are posting Cypress snippets. And while those snippets are correct and they probably work, I just want you to know that there's usually a simple Cypress way of checking the web page, checking values. And the best way I know of verifying that you're not overcomplicated things is to make sure that what you're writing reads naturally and is simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Here's a recent example where we confirm that Cypress that are all capital letters actually matches Cypress if you ignore the case. The author suggests using several Cypress commands like wrapping the value, giving it an alias, and getting it by an alias, and using should match assertion. It works. I actually have an example that is showing the same code and it's passing. You're wrapping it, you can see the alias, you get the alias, and it does match the regular expression. But obviously there is a much easier way of confirming the same thing. You can just use the global expect function because you already have a value. It's not like you need to do anything. Getting maybe something from a page, giving an alias or from a network intercept might, be, might require an alias and then getting it by alias. But if you already have a static value, just use expect and write expect to match cypress.io. Works the same way. Now, Cypress under the hood maps every should call back into the chai assertions. The best way to learn more about assertions to see what examples are possible using both Cypress chains of commands or you know, kind of standard chai, chai jQuery and chai synon assertions is by looking at the Cypress examples assertion page that I will link in the description of this video.